Hi everyone, welcome to Data Science Alive. In this video, we will see simple linear regression and problem statement. In this video, we will see the solution. If you have a data set, you can download the link below. That is bit.ly slash mlslrpr. Let's get into the problem. First, you set a console in the working directory. What is the working directory? Where you have saved the data file as well as this particular python file. If you have saved python file, you can see it in the working directory. If you click the setting icon, you can click the control to working directory and click the setting icon. You can see where we are going. As a first step, let's import our predominant three libraries. That is pandas, numpy and matplot library. We will import the three. Next, we will import the data set. So, we will import the data set equal to pd.read.csv. We will import the file name of the data set. Height.weight.csv. If you click the shift enter, it will successfully execute. If you look at the data set of type data frame with 1000 rows and 2 columns Height and weight are 2 columns Height is independent variable, weight is dependent variable If you look at the data set, there are NIN values That is null values are represented as NIN in Python Now we need to fix these missing values If we have a data set, we can see how many values are available so, we have to use the pandas in the inbuilt function, that is isNull. We use the function. So, dataset.isNull.sum. We use the function of the first value, and we use the summation. If we execute the code, we will get the output of the height of 46 null values, and weight of 0 null values. So, we need to replace the 46 null values with mean. Now, let's split the dataset as dependent and independent variable, that is x and y are split. So, x equal to dataset dot i lock. We need the entire row. So, colon, comma, 0, colon, minus 1. Last time, we will get the last column. Y is the location of the entire row. Colon, that is the entire row, comma, 1. Colon, that is the entire row, comma, 1. Because dependent variable, weight is indexed as 1 in dataset. Let's execute this code. If you look at the variable explorer, there are x and y variables. If you look at x, there are height information. If you look at y, there are weight and information. If you look at the data set, there is a data set. Now, we have to split the x and y. This is an array of converter. Hence, we are having the type as float64 in x and as well as y. If you look at the data frame, you can use the data set dot is null. We cannot use the same because it's not a data frame, it's an array. So, array can be different. Array is handled by np. np dot is nan because nan means null. Is nan of x. Other sum can be done. That's why we have np dot is nan y dot sum. We can execute this. The first one execute, we have got an output as 46. This is the same result as we got from the data set. So, in the data frame, it is 46. Now, let's fix the missing value using the imputer function from SQLN library. Data pre-processing topic, we will clear the value of the missing value. So, we will execute the same thing. If you look at the IPython console, it has been successfully executed. But, we are getting a deprecation warning error. So, deprecation warning error is nothing but if there is any update happen within the Python functions. If you have a library, you will update it. In that scenario, we will get a deprecation warning. Now, let's check the data. X is missing only fix air content. So, X is an array. So, np dot is nan. Array is a value. So, X dot sum. If you output the ipython console, it is 0. If you look at the value, it is 46. So, it has been successfully fixed. Some of our friends have raised concern on the deprecation warning. So, we will see the updated code in this video. Updated code is going to fix the missing value, but we have already fixed the missing value in x. So, what we need to do is let's reload the data again in x and y. So, x and y load x equal to dataset.ilog and y equal to dataset.ilog and the particular line of code execute. Then, we check the null values x and y are not available in x and y. np.isnan and the particular line of code is executed. If you look at this output, x is 46 and y is 0. So, 46 null values are there in x and 0 null values are there in y. Now, let's see the updated function. We have told the deprecation warning message. We need to use impute.simpleimputer from sklearn library. From sklearn.impute, import simpleimputer. Let's create an object for simpleimputer. imp is equal to simpleimputer. 
let's inspect the simple imputer in help section command i click panninga ungalku simple imputer oda documentation vandrum idhula pathina mainly nama kodukkende import missing values and strategy axis vandu nam imputer la irundhuchu simple imputer la adha eduthutanga so we do not need to give axis value so missing value pathina np.nan adhan default strategy pathina we have four option mean median more or most frequent value and constant so idha nama input ah koduthrom missing value equal to np.nan and strategy equal to mean in the particular program statement ku as a next step nammoda independent variable x ipa create panna object la fit panni transform pananom i python console la successfully execute aayiruchu now let's check if there is any null value in x so x ah ipa check panni paakumbodhu there is no null value output zero nu kattudhu now let's split the data as training and testing data using train test split function in the sql and library idhula nama use panni the split ratio 70 30 that is 70 for training purpose and 30 is for testing purpose as a next step nama sql and library la irundha linear regression function use panuvom let's create an object for linear regression as regress apra regress la training data va fit panirom ipa fit panna training data successfully execute aayiruchu ipython console la paakala now let's do the next step of predicting the value so test data that is x test and the data matter kudute regress object la predict use panuvom adum successful execute aayiruchu now let's compare y predict versus y test idhu neenga pathinga first value 67 62 more or less close ah irukke third value 101 98 more or less close ah irukke idhu rendu data set ah nama compare pannum bodhu we can infer idhu la irukra sila value um adhu la irukra sila values um romba close ah irukku Let's do the visualization now. Simple linear regression hands-on section la eppadi nama step by step graph create pannonradha paathom same technique da idhilum use pannirukom. Let's execute it. Idhila irukka red dotted scattered points it refers to training data and the blue color line refers to the linear line. Adhavadhu nama kandupidicha linear slope line. Idhila paathina scattered points ku linear line ku minimum distance da irukku so that it is one of the best fitted line by our algorithm. now let's do the same for the test data so execute the test data code if i do the graphical output pathina scattered point kammi irukku because we have used only 30 percentage of data from our data set for testing purpose and the graph is much similar to training data set or output so what we can infer from this is the line on the best of fit irukku and we are getting the similar output as training data now let's do the prediction nammoda height information kudutha weight predict pannuvom idukku two variables create pannuvom my height that is my underscore ht my underscore wt underscore predict idu rendu create pannirken ipo my underscore ht la just 185 direct ah neenga kudutinga without any brackets na you will get an error saying that you need to do a reshape so and the issue fix pandradukana double brackets la nama kudukonu so in the two lines of code execute pannirvom Let's see the predicted output. If output is 95.906. So according to our model, 185 cm height. Our weight can be 95.906. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and post your feedback in the comment section. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and post your feedback in the comment section. Thank you.